Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Karina, also known as OMG Lashes. Um, I hope you guys subscribe to my channel. Join the familia. Today we are doing a full face of first impressions on drugstore makeup. These are my favorite videos to film. I asked you on my Instagram, 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 and on my Snapchat what you guys wanted to see first and tons of you voted for a full face first impression so that is what we're doing today we are serving you so much highlight like it is going to be pretty glossy up in here so if you guys want to see how i got this snatched face then just keep on watching i woke up this morning and i realized i didn't have any foundations to review so i made a quick run to Ulta to see what I found. And surprisingly, there wasn't a lot of foundations that caught my attention. I don't think there has been very many new foundations besides the Alley Girl, which I did review. So I ended up picking up this one from Models Own. It is a foundation stick. I had never seen it before, so I don't know how new it is, but it's new to me. And I also picked up this e.l.f. Beautifully Precise Precision Airbrush Blender Brush. I also bought the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. I used to use this back in the day, like back, back, back in the day. And I haven't used this in years, so I'm excited to try that. And the very last thing that I picked up is this Sculpt and Glow by Models Own. It's a cream to powder bronzer. I am excited and nervous to see how this works. I tried it on the back of my hand and it felt very soft. For my primers, I'm gonna be using one of these. I don't know which one. These are the CoverGirl Vitalist Go Glow Luminizing Lotions. So on the back it says that they're supposed to be a lightweight moisturizers, but they add a luminous, a luminous finish to your skin. So I don't know, we're gonna shake them. This one is in the shade Sun Kissed, which is a darker one. And then this one is in the shade Daybreak. Okay, so we're just going to apply both of them since I already have them on the back of my hand. Why waste any products? I'm gonna take my little stippling brush and we're just going to blend that into the skin. <laughs> it smells like patas. I actually don't know if it's <laughs> if it's a primer that smells weird or if it's my brush because I just cleaned it with a brush cleaner and it does have a weird scent. So it might be the brush actually. Okay. So there we have it. That is the luminous primer. My skin definitely does look luminous. So we'll see how the foundation goes. The shade that I got is number 30. I don't know. That's all it says. I think it's gonna be a pretty good match for me. Now, it has this little dot in the center which is supposed to prime your skin at the same time. It really reminded me of the Maybelline Super Stay. What's it called? I don't know, but it comes in a stick like this. I used to love that foundation. It looks like it's going to match me perfectly. I'm going to use the e.l.f. brush to buff it in. And we're gonna see how it works. This brush is pretty heavy compared to every other e.l.f. brush and it has ugh, the detail on it. It's just so beautiful in the way that it curves. It's like perfect for pushing in the foundation into the skin. So the foundation is blending in very nicely. It's definitely not full coverage because you can still see that little dot, which is a acne mark that I have. It is a very, very lightweight foundation. It is giving me some coverage, but not what I like. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do another layer off camera really quick, and then I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like with the second layer. I don't know how I feel about this foundation. It looks really pretty on the skin, but again, it's not giving me the coverage that I like. So there is the second layer. I am loving this foundation. Like I wasn't sure about it, but now that I've put a second layer, I think my skin looks very natural. It doesn't look like I'm wearing foundation. My skin just looks healthy. I don't know, but I am loving it, you guys. What do you think? So I have all the concealers from the new CoverGirl line. 
These are their Vitalis Healthy Concealers. I don't know how full coverage these are going to be. I'm honestly a little bit concerned because I feel like they're not going to be very full coverage, but we will see. So this is the one that we're going to be using today. It doesn't have it doesn't unfortunately it doesn't say the name or the number but we're gonna see the only thing that I have to say that I'm not a big fan of when it comes to covergirl is that a lot of their foundations and concealers and powders are very pink toned I'm going to take this beauty sponge by morphe and the reason why I'm using it in this video is because morphe is sold at Ulta now so it is technically drugstore. So the concealer is exactly as I expected. It is not full coverage, which again, I like to wear full coverage everything, honey. Full coverage foundation, full coverage concealer, powder, bronzer, todo. I don't have any new um, setting powders or powders to bake underneath the eyes. So I'm just going to use the L'Oreal Hydro Perfects Loose Powder and Translucent. I picked this up about maybe two weeks ago and I have seriously been loving it so much. I'm also going to set my face with the new CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Powders. This is the one that I'm guessing is going to be my best match, which is in the shade Warm Beige. I'm just going to clean that e.l.f. brush because I really want to use it again. I really like this, by the way. So this is what it looks like. Ooh, I'm a little bit nervous because it looks super orange. Ooh, guys, I don't know if I can do this. Look at that. It looks like hot Cheetos. Should we just try a little patch? Yeah. You guys see that? <laughs> no. Let's move on to bronzer, shall we? I am really intrigued by this. Again, it claims to be a cream to powder bronzer. This is in deep glow. I love how affordable models own in. I love how affordable models. I love how. I love how affordable models own is. Um, I'm gonna take this with again that same Elf brush, and we're just going to go in there. It's a little bit hard to pick up some products. Mm. Okay, I don't know how I feel about this bronzer. We're just going to leave the bronzer for now. We're going to move on to brows. I'm going to try two products also from CoverGirl. This is, I want to say that these are, um, what do you call them? Pomades? It doesn't say the name, so I don't know, but I'm gonna say that that's what it is. And I'm also going to use this CoverGirl uh, brow pencil in the shade Rich Brown, and this is in the shade No Idea. We're just going to fill in the brows really quick. So the brows are done. I actually liked the color because I don't like um, like very soft browns. I like my brows to be very dark. Now, let's try the next Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. Again, I have tried this, but it's been at least two years that I haven't used this, so I don't remember if it leaves my brows super hard or not. I wanna know what your favorite brow gel is if you have one. This is one of my must-haves in my makeup routine. Like, I cannot go without setting my brows ever, ever, ever. I really feel weird, and I feel like my brows are gonna fall off if I don't set them. And there we are. I'm not going to carve them yet. I'm just going to let them dry for a little bit. We're going to move on to the eyes. I don't know what eye look I'm going for. I'm just going to kind of wing it because we have a few different palettes that I want to test out. I'm going to show you to you guys. So we have here this Pixie and Whaley. I don't know how to pronounce her name, so I'm not even going to try. But this is the eyeshadow palette, Let's Talk Eyes. And this is what it looks like. So it's very warm tone, very pretty shimmery shadows. So we also have this one with Dulce Candy and Pixie. It's a huge palette and it's a multitasking or a multi-purpose palette. I don't know. It's called Cafe con Dulce. Sweet Glow and it has all the names on the back. You can use these as shadows. You can use these as highlights. I did swatch them as you can see and they're super pigmented. I also have here the Katy Perry palettes. 
I have this Smoky Cover Girl palette. And then I recently got a PR package from Elmay and they sent me all their new um, little eyeshadows, these. So we have tons of shadows to play with. I just gotta decide which one I wanna use. But before that, let's go ahead and prime our lids. This is the CoverGirl Lid Lockup. Now, I typically don't like lid primers just because I always use my concealer, but I'm really interested to see if this really works. I'm gonna go in with this first palette and let's pick up this shade. This one is called Sista, like Hey sister, soul sister, la 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 sister. <laughs> you know what? I feel like doing a halo eye because I haven't done one in a while. So that's the look that we're going to go for today. Okay, let's move on to the second color I already applied it to his eye, which is this beautiful young lady down here. And I'm just using my Morphe M514. And I literally just punched that into my eye socket because I don't have a defined crease. So a girl has to create her own, you know? Just like this. Let's go into the Dulce Candy palette. And I think I'm going to use... I think I'm gonna go with this peachy shade. So I'm just gonna pick up my brush. I already did it on this eye and this eyeshadow is super pigmented. And again, you can use them as anything. So if you wanna use them as highlight, I bet that would look poppin'. But there it is. All I gotta do now is go back and fix the eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I will be back and show you guys an eyeliner because I have a few eyeliners that I wanna try out. Um, so yeah, I will be back. So there's two eyeliners that I want to test out with you guys. This one is the same one from Pixie. It is the Whaley, I don't know how to say her name, so I'm just gonna pretend like I know how to say it. So it comes with a felt tip liner on one end and then on the other end it comes with a black eyeliner. But I also have this eyeliner from Elmay. This is the pen eyeliner. So what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna do a wing liner using this one and then this one because I really want to see how both of them work. You guys know that I'm a sucker for the NYC eyeliner, which unfortunately is discontinued. So let's give this one a shot. Let's pray to the gods that these eyeliners both come out even because honey, they never do. Okay, pigment. <laughs> wow, this is super pigmented, you guys. I'm literally just barely pressing and it's like, bam, I'm here. Okay, so far so good. So there is the eyeliner with this one. I actually really like it. It's very pigmented and it's very black. I just don't know if it's smudge proof, if it's going to transfer to my lids, or if it's going to dry down to a matte. I think it is. So I'm just gonna wait and see what it does. And then let's do this eye with this eyeliner right here. This one as well is a pen liner, but the difference is, you guys see that little bolita at the top? This one as well is pigmented, but not as much as the Pixie. From what I can see, first of all, this one's like, rah, rah. I never leave my wings even, so need that with this if you don't either. But this one's a lot more pigmented than this one, which is the Elmay versus the Pixie. So this one is a winner for me. I like it. I like it. I'm going to go back into the Pixie eyeliner and I'm going to use this black one. Okay, that's pretty uh, pigmented. It tickles my, my lash line. Hold on. It's tickling me. <laughs> I can't. It's really tickling me. I don't know why. Is that weird? I don't have any false lashes to share with you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply this CoverGirl Peacock Flare Mascara. I'm going to apply a little bit of blush. This one is the collab with, with uh, Chloe Morello. Her palette comes with a whole bunch of blushes and I'm guessing these are eyeshadows and then I think these are brow products actually 
Ooh, I didn't even notice that. But we're just going to use a blush. I'm going to use this one at the very top because it's like a pink peachy blush. So I am picking up again the Pixie and Dulce Candy palette. I'm going to use this bronzy shade and this one, excuse me, and this one in the middle. I'm going to be using these as highlighters. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Woohoo, she glowing today. Oh my god. Okay, this has to be my favorite item from everything. Using it as a highlight. It is so stunning. We're pretty much done with this look. I like how pigmented this highlight is. I think this is going to be like my new, my new go-to. Let's finish off the face by applying some liquid lipstick. I have a whole bunch of uh, liquid lipsticks that I was sent from a cover girl. Ah. I'm Avi going to change or change, choose a nude lipstick. I think I'm going to go with this one. This is the cover girl queen collection major shade in the shade cakewalk. Ooh. It's a pretty color, but it's not very pigmented. It's a pretty color, but again, it's not very pigmented, so I don't know how I feel about it. I think I'm going to add a gloss. This is the Pixie and Chloe Morello gloss. It really reminds me of the one from Desi and Katie. Mmm. I love this gloss. Mmm, and it smells like cupcakes. The very last thing that we are going to be testing is the CoverGirl Look Lockup. It's an all-day setting mist. And that does it for this First Impressions Drugstore version video. I pretty much liked a lot of the things. Now that I've been wearing the foundation for a little bit longer, I actually don't like it. It really emphasized my pores. So for me, the foundation is a no-go as well as the bronzer, which I'm really sad because I really wanted to like this. I love the lip gloss. I love the little eyeshadow palette. And I loved the Dulce Candy Big Ol' Palette because you can wear it as highlight and it's super intense. You can wear it on your eyes. And the eyeliner has to be my favorite thing. I love how black and pigmented it is it was so easy to work with because it is a pen so it just made me or it gave me so much control if you guys are wondering what lashes i am wearing of course they are by lash kitty in the style jenna that wraps it up thank you guys so much for watching i love you and i will see you soon Mwah. bye